If you're after a sports car, then obviously driving thrills are at the top of your agenda. However, it's not necessarily pace that matters most here because our roads are very congested these days and the speed cameras everywhere. So what matters most really are smiles per hour rather than miles per hour. Forgive me that terrible pun. Anyway, here are the car buyer top 10 best sports cars. At number 10 is the BMW M4 Coupe. It replaces the old M3 Coupe but adds more power. The new high-tech design and turbocharged engine has improved economy and performance but it could do with being a little bit more tuneful. Ninth is the Jaguar F-Type Coupe. If you want power and sound, then this car delivers. It's strictly a two-seater, but comes with a generous 407-litre boot. However, it also comes with a huge price tag and high running costs. At number eight is the Peugeot RCZR Coupe. It's captured the fun Peugeot was missing with the standard car by adding an extra 70 horsepower. It is expensive though, and the interior doesn't match up to its sporty exterior. Seventh is the Porsche 911. There aren't many cars as fun to drive as a 911, thanks to its rear engine layout. It's expensive though, and for that much money, you might want something a little bit more exclusive. At number six is the BMW i8 Coupe. Along with its bonkers looks, it's also got a hybrid powertrain, which is capable of 0 to 62 miles an hour in just 4.4 seconds, yet can return up to 135 miles per gallon. This car is pricey though, and those rear seats are pretty useless. Fifth is the Porsche Boxster. Despite sharing its parts with the Cayman, it's not quite as quick as the Coupe, but the drop top element definitely improves the driving experience. Still, the options are expensive. At number four is the Porsche Cayman Coupe. This mid-engine sports car has buckets of grip and sounds fantastic. It's great fun to drive, but as with the Boxster, it's quite expensive to buy in the first place and you'll need to add some options which are very expensive. Third is the Audi TT. Now it might not look dissimilar to the previous model, but underneath everything is way better than before. Handling is excellent and the ride's brilliant too. You can get an economical diesel. It's just a shame that that model isn't available with four-wheel drive. Second place goes to the Subaru BRZ. Built in conjunction with Toyota, this is a front-engine rear-drive sports car. It's great fun to drive with accurate steering, a nice snickety gear change, and it's fitted with special low-grip tyres so that you can explore the limits of the car at moderate speeds. The only downside is it's not actually that fast. So our countdown's almost complete, but which car is at number one? Well, I can reveal that the car buyer best sports car is the Toyota GT86. Now, the GT86 is pretty much the same car as the Subaru BRZ. It does have an ever so slightly different front nose here. The grille's a bit bigger, and well, this is actually an added body kit on this car, which looks, looks a little bit more aggressive. It has some slightly different suspension settings as well, so maybe on a track, if you're hammering it, you could probably notice the difference. But really, when you're choosing between those two cars, you're probably best to consider which brand you prefer and which look you prefer. However, what's the deciding factor for us is the fact that Toyota has a more extensive dealer network than Subaru, and that's why the Toyota GT86 is the car buyer best sports car.